Hello there. Today I'm going to be trying to explain the phenomena known as fluorescence using this crystal of fluorite and a piece of blue amber to demonstrate it. So this particular specimen of fluorite is from Heights Quarry in Weardale, that's County Durham in England. And it is fluorite from this locality, not specifically Heights Mine but the Weardale area, which gives its name to fluorescence. So fluorite is not named after fluorescence, it's actually fluorescence is named after fluorite. And uh, this is a twinned cubic crystal. You may be able to see fluorescence now because the crystal is actually a greeny colour but you might notice hints of bluey purple and that's actually fluorescence. But I can intensify that by focusing a beam of sunlight which is ultraviolet light and it is the ultraviolet light which causes the fluorescence. So try and get that beam of sunlight now onto the crystal. And you should now see a purpley blue beam of light penetrating the crystal. And that is fluorescence. Um, so not all minerals are fluorescent and not all fluorite is fluorescent and depending on the locality will depend on the degree of fluorescence and the colour of the fluorescence. Um, in order to be fluorescent a mineral has to have certain activators in it which can be organic matter or hydrocarbons or certain elements. In this case is actually the element um, europium which causes the fluorescence. Um, so now I need to explain what's going on. And it's a little bit difficult to explain it in simple terms. I'm not a particle physicist so I can only explain it in the way I understand it. I think it's fairly well known that everything is made up of atoms and orbiting the atoms are particles called electrons and they orbit the atom in uh, a regular stable orbit called the ground state but when certain uh, electrons get excited or energized by ultraviolet light it causes them to jump up, jump up out of their regular orbit and that's them becoming in an energized or excited state and then they will drop back down to their ground state but as they drop down back into their regular orbit they release a photon of light in this case um, that bluey purple colour and that is uh, fluorescence in about the most simplest way I can describe it so I'll just try and get that beam on it one more time um, some minerals are fluorescent but will only fluoresce under a very strong source of ultraviolet light and I shall, I shall demonstrate that with my um, long wave ultraviolet light also some minerals will only fluoresce under long wave and some will only fluoresce under short wave and some such as this are so fluorescent that they will fluoresce just, just under sunlight and that brings me on to my blue amber which is also fluorescent just from the ultraviolet light from the sun in fact it's the fluorescence which gives it its colour it's not actually blue if I hold it up to the sun you can see it's a normal amber colour you can see it through the little gaps there but when the sunlight is shone on it you can see it has this bluish tone uh, this is quite rare amber 
It's only found in the Dominican Republic, although, um, and also some parts of Mexico as well, but in smaller amounts. This uh, is from the La Cumbre mine in the Dominican Republic. So, yeah, it's fluorescence which is causing that blue colour. And in this case, the fluorescence is caused by the presence of um, things which are called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Uh, there's a particular hydrocarbon known as perylene, which is to, believed to be the activator of this blue colour. And that is formed um, when organic matter, such as wood, is burnt and it's given off in the smoke. Um, and as there are a lot of volcanoes in the D Dominican Republic, it can be assumed that um, there was a large forest fire, or lots of forest fires, maybe due to volcanic activity or other causes such as lightning, and all the um, smoke was uh, deposited in the sticky resin that was leaking out of the trees and that's how it came to have perylene in it. Uh, and this type of amber is also different from the more well-known amber from the uh, Baltic because it's from a different tree. The Baltic amber is from uh, types of pine and conifer and this is from an extinct tree called a Hymenia proterra and it's also uh, younger than Baltic amber as well. The Baltic amber is about 40 or 45 million years old and this is about 25 or 30 million years old. So now what I shall do is I shall put them both under um, my long wave ultraviolet light and you'll see a rather cool effect. I'll do the amber first. So just Amber down there, and get the ultraviolet light. And now we prepare to observe. Look at that. That's pretty cool, eh? It's got an inclusion of something in it, which gives it that black piece there. You can see so it's a very bright milky white blue fluorescence. And I'll just put the bit of floor under there. That's pretty cool, eh? So I think that explains fluorescence, and I hope you found it enjoyable, interesting, and easy to understand. Bye.